horror. The horror. I mean, J Jesus Christ. J ha 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 Christ. Oh. A key was provided for the purposes of a review. WWE 2K Battlegrounds is easily the worst wrestling game I've played in some time. Now, to qualify that statement, I've also played The Simpsons Wrestling, which is um, considered one of the worst wrestling games of all time, not just wrestling games, it's also one of the worst games of all time. That's how bad we're talking. I'm talking so bad that the Switch port of uh, 2K18, which ran at a not respectable it's half a frame a second, if you're lucky. It... That was so bad that it just didn't work. This tries to work, but avarice sets in. It is just dreadful, awful bunkum. It is dreadful. I... I love wrestling. I have for nearly two decades. Uh, many people love wrestling because of their childhood, their love of wrestling when they were young. And it continues on. Yeah, some might become a bit more casual, some become a bit more hardcore and they go into the indie scene and ooh, and all that nonsense, but for the most part, I've straddled the line of both, where I know the ins and outs of the backstage, but I also don't really watch every week. So basically, anyone on the internet that likes wrestling. So when I say that, oh, this is a bit crap, I mean it. I know what crap is for WWE games. I've been playing the games for, well, nearly two decades. I've got three generations of the bloody things behind me in my office. How could you make something so dull? I'll tell you how, or at least it's this speculation that's going around since the first trailer that featured the scratchy logo, which was... Uh, mothballed, or retired, rather, in 2014. So, there's a chance that this game is older than most of you. Better not swear, then. 2K Battlegrounds is just an arse. A complete and utter arse to the player and anyone who's ever seen it. It is artistically an abomination that makes Ronda Rousey look like a uh, melted Barbie. Melted angry Barbie, as I said in the written review. It is just an awful, awful art style in every single way. John Cena looks like... Well, he's gone limp. Uh, many of the older wrestlers look okay-ish. But when it comes to the roster, as it is, uh, it's a bit crap. Who in the right minds thinks, oh yeah, Akira Tozawa? I can tell you right now, David used to like wrestling. He couldn't tell you who Akira Tozawa is, mostly because he only came into wrestling in the last four or five years, and the fact that, well, no one wants to play as Akira Tozawa, and that's a disservice to them, but still, he's not 
anyone's number one choice. Maybe Akira Tozawa's choice, but that's maybe it. No one thinks, oh yeah, that's the guy that I really need to play as. No, they think, oh yeah, the current WWE champion, who is Drew McIntyre. That's the guy that's locked behind microtransaction money, but we'll get to that in a minute. The gameplay, as it is, uh, it's a bit crap. It's just, it's just crap. Remember when everyone was saying, oh, I really want a WWE game that's like WWE All-Stars from 2011. Oh, that would be great. That would be fantastic. And then this was prophesized to be that. And well, uh, Jesus Christ, it is awful. You can, and this is the annoying bit, you can just tap the same button over and over again, maybe varying up with um, some powerful moves, some uh, chair shots, things like that, but in general, just tapping the same thing, kicking Samoa Joe over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. What is great about a wrestling game is the fluidity, the magic of it looking like actual wrestling and well 2k battlegrounds looks like the trainees were let go to run free and well make enter name of independent wrestling promotion that has recently gone down the toilet and I won't be sued for. 2K Battlegrounds has no fluidity, no magic, no fun to it. There's nothing that really exudes fun, aside from maybe laughing at it and going, <laughs> no one's going to remember this fondly in about 20 years. Oh, oh that's depressing. Oh, that's horrific. Oh, how WWE allow this tripe to go on. And then you realise that WWE have some history of letting tripe go on forever. Ah, Vince. Retribution. Many, many of those comedy bits that turn out to be a bit crap. Uh, yes. Choppy peepee. -pee. Putting aside the gameplay for, well, most of the gameplay for a minute, it's stylistic, yes, it's got a little bit of flair to it, but it has zero impact, and that's my problem. It's just... It, the problem with the entire game is the fact that the AI couldn't fight their way out of a wet paper bag. And that's a compliment to a wet paper bag. Because how can you make AI that is worse than what you've had for the last six years? 2K has been running the show since, what, 2014? And the games have been uh, between fine, uh, Jesus Christ, and... Oh my god, this is the best wrestling game in the world. Yes, I'm talking about 2K16 and 17 because they are the best wrestling games in the world. But 2K Battlegrounds is genuinely awful. Awful in every single way. Not in the way of buggy, awful mess from last year with 2K20, but in the sense that microtransactions have seeped into everything. Everything. Do you want to create a wrestler and have them wear a different outfit? You have to pay 12,000 blue bucks or a couple hundred of the gold bucks, which you have to pay for. And if you want about 6,000 of those, you have to pay about the same amount that you have to pay for the game uh, beforehand, just so you can buy some stuff. Yeah, instead of creating a wrestler with the deep and wonderful 
creation suite that has previously been in wrestling games, it's about as deep as a puddle of excrement. Watery excrement. Excrement that sounds like when you land in it. <laughs> it is genuinely awful. It is about as deep as, well, that fecal matter nonsense that I just made. And it's awful, 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 awful microtransaction laden to hellhole. That's what it is. I, I've never seen a wrestling game be so bad at creation. You have to pay just to get a different outfit. You have four or five, no, four or three, maybe. I don't know. I don't care. You have maybe four tops if you want to dress your woman in, you know, a top instead of a bra. How, how does that get through? Smackdown Here Comes the Pain had a walking animation creation suite. You could create a walking animation that was ridiculous. You could twist the neck and have them gyrate about and... and uh, how? How did a PS2 game released in 2003, of all things, have a better creation suite than a game released in 2020. Uh, 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 microtransactions, I hate you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. <sighs> that says nothing of the collection of superstars, as WWE wants you to call them. Useless gets that are not given healthcare or anything. Hmm. Arseholes. Nonetheless, the point is, to buy a wrestler, you have to pay the blue bucks or the gold ones. The blue bucks, you can grind. You can grind like you've never grinded before. You can be like a gay man on the internet. But, and this is the thing, you don't want to. You really don't want to grind. The gameplay is so dull. And that's the only way to get the blue bucks. Or you can buy the gold bucks. Which again, if you want about uh, 6,500, I think, of those gold bucks, you have to pay about uh, 39 bucks. Uh, come again? That's the price of the bloody game. 12,000 of the blue box will get you some wrestlers that you actually want to play as, the likes of Triple H, probably Drew McIntyre, the actual WWE Champion right now. You know, the people that you want to play as. But no, you have to grind, grind and grind and grind. And if you want to grind exhibition matches, which give you about 250 of the blue bucks, you will be playing uh, 1,700 matches. Yeah, sure, you get some extra bits every level you go up and you do your daily challenges, you get a bit extra, but... In general, you don't get a lot, therefore grind, grind, you little fecker. It is just depressing looking at the absolute hatred that was given to the game before launch by people who never played the game, but you know, they hated last year's game, so balances out, I guess even though it's made by someone completely different and was probably mothballed from about 2014, but uh, shut up. Nonetheless, 
you have that side that absolutely hated it and uh, social media hatred and death threats and such and so on and then on the other side you had people who would praise it unconditionally because oh it looks cartoony oh it might be the savior it's not the savior it is tripe it is liquid tripe i'll be honest i'm never going to touch the game ever again i i don't want to i i, I in fact um, I, I was going to record a bit more just for this, but I'll just recycle footage. I don't care. I'm done. I'm, I'm, and I don't want to touch 2K Battlegrounds ever again. I, uh, it's awful. It is genuinely awful. It is horrific. It is monstrous. No. Just, just no. No. No, 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 no. There's no limits to 2K's avarice.